manager came to her home after she left a three-star review on Yelp. Whoa. That is dope. The manager went to her pad? That like is three stars. dope. Oh, damn. Three that stars like I Well, how did, how did she... Three stars is not enough to, like... Hey man, He's what's had up, it dog? Up the what if it was a nice? What if it was a nice visit? I would like a nice. And visit. is she for three stars? I doubt it's it. It's weird because it's a Grubhub order. So w maybe when he picked it up. No, he asked for a Yelp review. Yeah, so 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 the Grubhub that is weird. guy yeah. picked it up at the restaurant. Yeah, why would he ask and then for he it? was like, "Hey, make sure you tell her to do the Grubhub." Yeah. I mean, uh, Yelp. Because he has no affiliation to that no, restaurant. Sometimes the restaurants use their own drivers to drop off food from these online oh. services. So. Yeah, that's true. I see. Oh, it's, it's so Grubhub does that because yeah. Postmates. Does Postmates, yeah. Yeah, I mean, if, if that review was just her opinion, then she has a right to her opinion. It just... Yeah, the grub of delivery for our lunch every week is always the same guy. I don't know. I don't ever use I didn't know that. I didn't know. When I get Mexican food ordered at my place, it's so much grosser than at the restaurant. Like it like comes in like yeah. a container and it's like all wet and oh, shit. Oh yeah, all of it's, it's like weird. all like greasy shit. But all at the restaurant, it's fucking awesome. Like it's all Do hidden. We have hot plates. Yeah, right, exactly. You know what I get ordered all the time, but, but I'm so fucking lazy and it tastes like shit. But actually, it's not that bad. But because I really miss it, so I still get it. I get like slush with boba. So by the time it gets to my house, it's like half melted. But then I, I'm just so lazy that I don't want to go to the store and get it. So I just put it in the freezer and I try to fix it a little bit, but it comes it out is, not That bad. is the worst way to ever drink that shit ever, dude. I know. Uh -huh. <laughs> I know. You just want the sweet flavor, <laughs> yeah. but I just want boba so bad and I, I don't want to leave the house. Sometimes, just don't get slush. Sometimes I feel like the drivers, they get the bag and they fucking shake the living fuck out of it and then they give it to you. Yeah. yeah. Really? Like, and I know that they're just driving and then they hit a stop thing and then the food slides off and <laughs> hits the fucking ground or whatever. And I'm like, oh, God damn. <laughs> they pick it up and fucking throw it back against the seat and that's what's really cool. Remember our curry house where the curry is outside of the container? It's uh, all the I feel the like, I don't feel like because they shake it, I just think because it's so hot, it like melted the lid and then the lid just kind of sinks. Dude, I feel like anytime they get a soup order, these restaurants, like the guy reaches into his shirt and he takes out like a like a, a, a like a cross necklace and he goes, "Here we go." Because <laughs> holy shit, like the soup containers always get the most fucked up ever. You know what I mean? Like Jesus. A man who tried to drown himself is suing the police and lifeguard who saved him. What? Yeah, like, hey, you didn't let me kill myself, asshole. If you're trying to leave this world, why do you need What <laughs> the fuck is going on? If he comes to me, I'll take him to the forest. <laughs> you had a military fucking marine dude? He could have saved him. Well, did he get stuck down there, or is he saying he tried to kill himself, right? Yeah. Well, did he, well, did he tell them, like, I'm going to kill myself? See, that's the thing, like, I don't really know, because they're saying that like, he was just yelling and pulling. I just think that he was trying to practice underwater walking, and he failed, and he's like, Hey, how come you guys didn't help me? I never made it all the way across. Mm -hmm. I could never make it across. We try to have races. Every time we get an Airbnb, underwater race. That's awesome. Who can go all the way to the end and back with one breath? Nobody. We'll never grow up. Nobody ever. can. What do you mean, grow up? Nobody can make it all the way to and from nowhere. It's impossible. You can't. That's only a kid's sport. Oh, you mean sport? there and back? Oh, I, I haven't done that. Because you're too slow down there, man. Yeah, I thought you meant just one way. I was like, I think Look, it's kind of possible, about it, I've done the math. <laughs> I am even thinking the fastest guy on the planet, right? Take the fastest guy on the planet. Aquaman. You're, you're like, who was it? Jesse Owens or somebody? Michael, Michael Phelps. I could Michael do it Phelps. on a backyard pool, but not like a... But who's the fastest speed walker on the planet? Oh, you're talking about walking, not swimming. Yeah, walking. Oh. You know what I'm saying? All underwater, walking the, the bottom. You just need a, a free diver. Those guys can hold a uh, breath for like five minutes. Oh, that's true. There's and then there's those other ones that hold stones, and they're like exercising oh, yeah. down there. Like what, like Ronda Rousey training for a fight? Like in Hawaii, they do that. There's a Filipino guy that could do it for five minutes. He could hold his breath for five minutes. He goes, minutes. <gasps> and he just goes all the way down, <laughs> and then he holds. You he lets all the air out before. He, yeah, he has to say that shit to me, man. <laughs> and he goes in the water. And it, yeah, he says like, when you get to a certain point, um, oh, the like pressure insane. from above keeps yeah. you down, so you don't float up. 96-year-old oh, yeah. secretary quietly amassed a fortune and donated $8.2 million before passing. How did they wow. slowly amass a fortune? How did she slowly amass? Em oh my god. Embezzlement? Embezzlement. How's the secretary gonna have $8 million? She might be the secretary to... Oh, what? never mind. Why did I hear librarian? <laughs> <laughs> what? what? Librarian? Librarian? I heard librarian. He's no, drunk. secretary. You're drunk. I think secretaries can make a fuck ton, because imagine being a secretary to a billionaire. 
I mean, and then learning or like someone that's like real estate genius and then they're like you have such close proximity and it's like I want to learn some shit or have you seen the movie with the secretary that like she's into bondage and shit mm -hmm. what? Not bondage, but dominant dominatrix oh, oh. It's on you just yeah huh? on you <laughs> oh, on you just yeah no there's a movie like that or like Shades her boss, of Grey? I forgot what it is, but her boss like like whips her and hits oh, her. Oh, Fifty Shades of Grey. No. You're saying that that's the oh, only oh, way. Oh, that's oh, yeah. oh, you talking about, uh, uh, um, uh, it's, um, it's, it's an old movie. Yeah, it's older. Older. Uh, dildos and hats? Dildos and hats. Yeah, that's his sister. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh uh, yeah. Jake Gyllenhaal's sister. Yeah. Oh, shit. was the same thing. Oh, who yeah. wants that movie? It doesn't yeah. matter. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. I fucked it all up. I fucked it all up. All right, I'm sorry. I'm moving on. No, it's movie. a movie. It's a movie. Moving so you on. You brought us up. all the way I back. I know. I'm sorry. I know. I time traveled in my mind for nothing. Yeah, it is. Uh, Maggie. Maggie. What's the? I don't even know. It Jake doesn't Gyllenhaal matter. Had us. No, it, we have to find out now, just so I can go on with my life. Maggie what Gyllenhaal. What's the point of this? Which one? It's not the secretary, is it? <laughs> that can't be. Is it? I think it's called the secretary. What's the movie called? The secretary. Uh, that is the sorriest Can fucking answer on earth. Young woman history of severe emotional problems released. Let me see. Let me see. Nah, that can't be it. It's there. No. The, the secretary? No. Nah, it's like, are it we thinking about the same it. movie? Sherry, please, baby, I want, hear, I want to hear the article, please. Is it one please. back down? I think Is I think it? I'm I'm thinking of a different movie. Please. Any, all right, fine, fine. Please. Fine, let's move on. Can no, me? we're not moving on. I'm just kidding. Okay, fine. No, it's called the secretary, and you wasted our time. Let's continue. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand Damn what it. the point was. So. Me neither. Cause for life. Oh. For life. For life, die. It is! It is secretary. It's I just secretary. read the synopsis. Fucking Geo. Anyway. <laughs> what was the fucking basketball Here document called? Go. Basketball? <laughs> it was titled The Secretary That Amassed a Fortune. Holy yeah. shit. Oh my god. <laughs> I said move on five minutes ago. Don't blame me. Blame those two. Please, David, please. I can't do it. But you started David, it. Please. Where the fuck did you get those t-shirts? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that shit popped out of nowhere from my view. <laughs> All right, so this story is about Sylvia Bloom. She was a legal secretary from Brooklyn. Uh huh. She worked for the same law firm for 67 years until she retired at the age of 96. She, oh, wow. She God fucking the damn. damn. Just saving up. Yeah. That's what I say, too. I fucked, up. I, fall, I fucked up the college experience. Mm. Like, in what ways? I know what I did wrong, but what did yeah. you do wrong? Because I, I got in <laughs> early. I, got I know my later. flaws. What are yours? Yeah. <laughs> How are you a fuck up like me? <laughs> Please tell me. I got in later because <laughs> I was rushing to just sign up because I didn't prepare for it. I didn't know that you have to sign up in fall for the next year's fall. Oh, I had, I had the oh, right. I see what you're saying. But I had good fucking grades, man. I could have got into any like and I didn't challenge myself to see where I stood in the realm of what colleges I could get into. And I think if I challenged myself, I would have had a better. Hold what the fuck? I never had a chance to challenge myself because I never challenged myself in school ever throughout life. So when I had the good grades and I could have transferred everywhere, I was like, I don't want to wait a year. I'm just going to go to the easiest thing. You're, you're downplaying it. You're downplaying yourself. You need to tell them, catch them up to speed of like how dope you are and wh what type of person actually gets into universities. Only geniuses. That's what he thought. You thought that? What? <laughs> I thought. I, I thought. Sure. I thought you had to be Einstein, or some top-notch straight A student. Where did you learn this from? I just created it in my head because I went into I went to a really bad school system, and then like it was somehow drilled into me that the standard was everybody's gonna work at Target or McDonald's or whatever Jeez. that's normal, and then only really genius people go to college and then save the world. Mm. So I was like, that's not for me. <laughs> I'm not that smart. Mm -hmm. Isn't that amazing? And he's here today. Dude, but look at you now. You got two That's shows. what I'm saying. I I JK News globally killing it on the internet, dude. Oh, yeah. Two <laughs> shelves of have snacks. Your own company. Talk about the snacks. CEOs about the of snacks. your own company. So you, you should you don't change anything. Cause you're here now and you guys are That's doing true. this. 
No, re no regrets. No regrets. Why would you change anything? You're here. You know what? You're right. Yeah, you're true. right. You're right. Yeah. So fresh. <laughs> you just talked about how smelly your ass is and how you enjoy to smell your I own know, farts. I know. I know. That's amazing. That's good. You're free. It's a good life. Back, dude, <laughs> you're making a living talking about how your ass smells like. <laughs> no one else can do that. No you one else that can in college. Do that. Yeah. Yeah. That's you're true. right. Most people. You're right. Go to jail Show or get a restraining socks. order for that. Look at how you're dressed. Show them your socks. Look at that. These are amazing socks. Oh, it's alright. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. No, no, I don't like doing that. He dropped the trash. <laughs> no, no, I'm cleaning up. No, Scott, there's socks. A <laughs> Look at that. Those are some great socks. I got my Target. That's dope. Yeah, I like Target. He's from China, right? So in China, because of the one-child policy that they had from 1979 to 2015, there's way more Fuck boys them up. than girls. There's 130 boys for every 100 girls. Damn. Don't fart again! Oh my god! Oh, Jesus. Why what did the you fuck did you eat, Steve? God, go back to college! Ah, oh, You're so stupid! Worcester I'm sauce. so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I well, no, I, I ate carne asada, butt man. Cheek up. No, I, I, dude, Stop I, putting Worcester sauce in your foods. <laughs> oh, is that what's giving me the gas? I don't yeah. know. That with the combination of sesame uh, oil. Okay, Stop. Okay. All right. I'm. Um, there's more. Okay. <laughs>